Hi guys, so this is um, the part two of the pace putting. I hope everyone's well and staying safe. This is playing nine holes at Pebble Beach, um, sort of following up on what's being discussed with the, uh, the formula and the variables. Um, the only way really, I can go on the putting green, but the only way really to um, to sort of replicate the conditions is to be on the course. So I'll try and play the to the green shots quite quickly. I'll also be trying to play to some pins for short putts and some pins I'll play away from for longer putts. One thing I haven't mentioned in the first video is PC versus mobile. Um, basically, because we're not talking about break at present. But um, this, this is the same um, thing on PC as it is beta, as it is mobile. The pace putting works um, on all three. Um, the difference with with mobile to the PC that I'm on is is the dot reading. Um, I play beta sometimes, so I'm getting used to the different dot movements. Um, it does feel a little bit more difficult on mobile, but I think there's other advantages on mobile that PC doesn't have to. Um, but I do think that putting is a, bit, is a little easier to read um, on PC than it is the mobile or beta. Um, so so that's one factor to consider if, if you play mobile or beta and you're watching my screen obviously on, um, on PC. So we're going to play a few holes. I've got three things open, the game, a little calculator and our reference point to um, to discuss the formula. Now the simple fact is this all can look very complicated but we only need two figures. One is on the green which is feet minus or plus the elevation and then one of these measurements here. We're on 13 green speed um, on in this tournament so the reference point for all of these holes is 0.69 so it's not really complicated at all um, and we'll show that by inputting into the calculator um, when we're on the green. So let's just crack on and start. Got a fairly a fairly pretty wind for for this hole to start. Hopefully I'm, again I'm, I'm gonna play pretty quickly so if it goes in the rough we don't worry about it at all. Nearly fairway, but not quite. <clears throat> so, again, not going to be too worried about where this finishes. We'll try and play a half reasonable shot in. 47 yards in after elevation. Out of the rough of 40, so 47, I'm going to add sort of 3 to that, 50. Downwind, maybe three off, 47, 49, about 48, I think. Maybe just a little bit more. So a decent shot to start. Obviously, it's not a particularly helpful putt, but we'll get some longer ones on the, on the other holes. But we're going to use this as our base um, to start with. So very simply, this is our first equation. This plus this, obviously on this occasion, this plus this equals 5.2 because it's zero elevation. Then we're going to multiply that by our 0.69 because we're on 13 greens. Oh. That's just done that wrong as well. Good start. I'll get it right in a minute. So it's telling us it hit it four feet. Now these short ones, as I've listed in the variables, I'll always be hitting harder than it says. Um, this shouldn't be too difficult a putt just to be rolling in quite firmly. So I'll be sort of basically looking at where I want to hit it um, in terms of what the movement is and then sort of add the power as I feel appropriate. So it said four feet, I'm looking at sort of more five Five and a bit feet just to be nice and firm. Five and a bit feet is there. Okay. 
Excellent. And it almost wasn't firm enough. Um, as I say, I tend to, from, from under 10 feet, I tend to use a little bit more power than the formula. So when I'm basing, showing you guys with the formula and adding a little bit, I'm not adding quite as much as I probably would do. Um, this formula is definitely very trustworthy on longer putts, downhill putts. The only thing I would say is on the shorter ones, even on the quicker greens, if it's flat or uphill, I would always put a little bit more aggressive than the, the sheet is telling you. Um, that's just one of the variables. It's not wrong, it's just a fact. Nice massive misting here. I imagine this is going to be going into the rough. Might just hang on. I'm going to try and leave as a longer putt here. Maybe towards the back of the green. Now 10 feet, 170, 160. Bounce on quite nicely. Yeah, so this is a nice sort of chunky breaking putt. This is actually a really, this is actually quite a unique putt on the course, this. The reason I say that is it's downhill and it gets more downhill. So if you're starting to move the ball down here, because you need to be, because you want to get it in the hole, it can easily get away from you down this hill, so that's a slight factor to take in consideration on this part. We are into the wind, which will lessen that, but... So, example is 23 minus 2 is 21 multiplied by our 0.69. So it's a 14.5 foot putt. So I'm now thinking about the variables, I'm starting to do that with the line as well. It's going to be a lot of break and it will, the more break we give it down here, it should slow up rather than being quite aggressive and quick because we're hitting into the upslope there. <clears throat> so just sorry, back to the reference, 14.5. Big breaking part and it's downhill. Now we are hitting uphill here, but you have to bear in mind that you're hitting uphill there, but then it's it will be turning back into even more downhill here because it's coming from the top of the hill. So don't don't get suckered into pretending it's not downhill because it still is. So we've got um, 14.5 into the wind. <sighs> My hunch would be normally here to hit it a little bit harder, but because of this turn here, I'm probably not going to do it. So I might hit it 15, just as a little extra cushion. I still feel I've not allowed enough break there. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to hit it 15, and we're going to see if it if it does this thing down here. Nope, didn't like that. It's a pretty decent line. And pretty decent pace. So a good part, you know, you're not going to hold many from that kind of distance with that kind of break. So very happy with that, um, and hopefully useful information there in terms of in terms of the pace. Now we've got a um, howling downwind. We always like these shots. I'm just going to bash it as far as we can. We still miss the putts. No. Set up of a longer part. Oh well, I just yeah, we're just going to bash that and try and hit ding. Probably the right miss of ding because it's a right to left wind. Nearly got there. So I'm going to play this a few yards. I've never putted from here. 
So we're going to try and play it from up, up here, down, back down the hill. I don't know that part at all. So we'll just hit this. So this is quite a nice part, there's not much break to it, so it's all about pace. So we've got 29 point, and we've got 29 minus 3, 26, multiplied by our 0.69. So our base is 18, basically. I don't get too caught up with 0.1s, um, because you can't really see it on the meter anyway. So... Um, 18... 18 base. It's so straight, it's actually hard to read the dots. It feels like all together. I, I, try, I try not to get too into the little dots here and the little dots there. I'm trying to get an overall kind of picture of it, and that just feels like it's a little bit right to left to me. So our base is, I've forgotten again, is 18. Now, I don't know this part, so we're going to go by we're going to go by instinct. Um, Eighteen feels good. I'm a little bit worried about that headwind. I mean, technically, it could sh could come up short. It's not very downhill. I might just add a little bit of extra in the danger that it goes four foot past, but we want to give it a go. So I'm going to hit this just over eighteen. See if there's any right to left in it. There was, but not as much as I thought. Lovely pace, two feet past, exactly what we're we're trying to do. Um, on another day, that could that could have easily gone in, but just over read it slightly. I saw the break. I saw there was some break there, but just over overcooked it. Very quick drive here. Massive right thing, probably going to put us in the. No, we're still hanging on. Or are we? That we're in bunker. Um, that doesn't matter because we're going to leave ourselves a middle of the green putt. We've been up here before either. Twenty four, twenty six, twenty four. So he's in a nice, nice place for a nice downhill putt again. I'll do some uphill ones as well, of course. So straight into the into the calc. Twenty four minus eight, sixteen. Times by 0.69. So we're talking 11 foot putt here. Again, we've got headwind. Again, we've got downhill. This is quite violently downhill. So this needs to be, or we need to be more careful with this than we did the previous one that was three inches downhill. So this time I'm going to ignore the wind. I might even take a little bit off the the um, the 11 foot, but. Let's just see, show what the formula does. Better to do it that way. Again, just generally speaking, I see a little bit of left to right in that. So we're just going to hit this 11 feet. My gut instinct says this is going to go five feet past. Um, but and my feel would be I'd be reducing this to 10.25, 10.5. But let's see. Uh, that's 11.25. So this time I've underread it. And we've gone pretty much what I thought we would. I said five foot past, we've gone six foot past. Um, so 
again, a really good example of the variables. If it's heavily downhill, take a little bit off because it just gravity will speed it up at the start and then that is continued into the putt later on. So it's, it, it will get faster quicker and slow down slower if that makes any sense. So it's a really good base. The variable there was take off a foot and we would have been three and a half foot past and I gave it a chance of a hole but with no with no worry about a two putt um, or missing a three putt. This one here, we're going to do the, the, the chart, but this again will be something that I'm just feeling most of the time without looking at any numbers. I um, don't know why I'm doing that. It's 6.1, so it's 7.1 multiplied by 0.69. So it's saying hit it 4.8, uh, 4.9. Um, there's no way I'd hit this 4.9. I'm looking at, at more like 6. A funny squirrely old read this but I want to be more aggressive um, takes out other things takes out the wind takes out a little bit of break um, just worried I might miss this left here but we'll just see what happens Solid. Huh. it was more like missing it right um, but we managed to hold on if we'd hit that four and a half 4.8 and aimed a little bit more right I don't know it's just gonna be dribbling in so Again, on the shorter putts that aren't downhill, feel free to use the base equation and then just add a little bit for feel. It's not always going to be exactly on, on that number. Nice fun wind for this one. We're good, do, doing well to hit the green here. So 197, I'm not going to think about it too much. I'm going to lose a ball, I don't mind. So hard to read these diagonals. 197, it's a good 18 wins, 180 could still be long. But we're not really worried, so missing rights. Very short. As I said, not even hit the green, but we weren't concentrating, so it's not a big a big deal. Just put this into a territory. So I might leave an uphill putt this time, try and leave ourselves an uphill. Hope it doesn't run all the way off the green. Stay there, stay there. Good, nice position. We get our 20 plus 3, 23.69, multiply, 15.9, 16 feet, I'll be thinking 16 here. Then we get our variables out again. Right to left putt there, right to left putt there. The better angle is this one I think. I think that's too bad. So 16 and um, is our is our power number. It's slightly downwind, um, which will mean we don't want to be too aggressive with it. Again, it's going uphill, so it's never going to get away from us too far. But I'll be thinking here, if we're talking about 16, I want to give it one extra just to make sure I get it there. So I'm going to go 17, 17 feet here. That would have been in without the, the wrong ding, I think. I think it was a, a left ding. But lovely pace, foot passed, could have been a little bit more. Um, but that was really just a missed, a missed read or a missed dinger. I didn't really see which side I missed it. But again, we're just tapping in. Yes, for bogey, but we're not, we played away from the hole, so. 25 win here. And all the juicy wins when we don't care about it. So this green will probably give us a nice longish putt anyway because it's very hard to get close to. Um, 
particularly with this much downwind, to get it back there and not go long is, is not easy. I'm just going to be playing into here and hoping for some rollout. 12, 184 for elevation. Aim is more there, so a little bit more like there. 184 for elevation plus minus 12, 172. Could be short, but usually get hot bounces here. That's a pretty good effort. To get it up near there, it's going to be a downhill putt, but to get it up near there without going long in the rough will take um, with a howling downwind. Other people might get a lot closer than that. It's not one of my favourite holes, if I'm, uh, pin positions, if I'm honest. But it's good, perfect for another putt. So we've got 19 minus 5 is 14 for our formula. 0.69 multiplication, 9.66. 9.7, we keep getting them into the wind downhill. Uh, 9.7, 5 downhill. I'm not going to worry about the wind here at all because gravity is going to bring it down. So I sort of like the 9.7 number. Um, it could even roll a little bit past, but I'm not really too worried about that. Quite a lot of break there. I'm going to go 9.5. That's my hunch. Stay up. Oh, very close. So yeah, if I the headwind hasn't slowed it up there at all. I've gone. If I'd gone sheet, I'd have been about five foot away. Four foot, no drama. Um, but again, when it's downhill significantly you can always err on the side of caution really is is, is the best thing um, because it will always probably go a little bit further past than you think it will um, so four feet here again these ones are not adding up really at all I just want to be really firm with it so I'm looking at sort of about 5.5 feet Actually, nearly missed it. Laziness, not reading the putt, not anything else. Or sometimes it, you know, unless you've got a golden putter, it will come off the putter a little bit odd, which is another reason to hit it firm. So here we've got another tailwind. Um, I guess we can try and get it close, but no six. Oh, 96, 95-ish. This team left, so it's not going to be very close. And quite short, but a nice putt for Reed. 16, one uphill, so we've got 17 total, 0.69, 11.73, downwind, so these ones, unlike the tail last time, I was worried about being long from the formula, now I'm worried about being short, um, only a little bit, not as significantly as downhill. Um, but you can, I don't know, you can already sort of feel 11.7 when it's uphill from 16. Feels like a little bit more for me. Not worried about the winds because, again, it's not going to roll far past. So I, I'd be looking at more like sort of 11.7. I'd be looking at more sort of 13 here, um, sort of 1.3 extra. And there's even a chance that that won't be going in firmly. So I'm going to go 13. What's that we've got? 12, 13.5. Haven't even looked at the break. Never a good idea. Not worried, too worried about holding it. We'll just go over there and see where we go.
probably on ding that goes in. We're nicely two feet behind the hole. So my instinct was right. It's the formula plus a little bit uphill. Again, same thing go in, but you know, we're talking about pace putting here and I'm not focusing as hard on the break as I would in a competition. Gonna be too. I don't want to lose ball here, so I'm just gonna bash a two, a two twenty up there. Now this pin, thirteen green tucked over here, can leave all kinds of problems. Um, so we're gonna be trying to play. We're gonna always be aggressive because you can't actually be safe here. You put it over here, and it's a nightmare putt. Um, I'd almost rather miss miss the green here and be flopping it uphill than I would be putting from here or here. Obviously the nightmare is long because we're then going straight downhill. Um, so that's just a thing to think about sometimes with putting. It, it, it's important that you think about it with your, with your approach shot as well. Um, this is just a tough shot, so sometimes you just gotta take your medicine. Um, so we've got 201, not going to allow anything for elevation because it plays pretty much flat, even a little bit uphill. Um, allow some for the wind. That's not too far off. 200, 18, 190. And there's an argument that 190 doesn't make it. Cut save that. Bad miss on the ding, so it's going to be left of the pin, which is not great news. Distance was good. If we ding that, we're, we're tapping in. Um, but yes, this <laughs> this is uh, is not a fun part. Um, so we're just going to see what we can do. So we've got 7.9, sorry, we've got 8.9 foot. 0 0.69, 6.1. Now the problem here is once it gets to here, it's only going down there on a 13 green. So we're trying to sort of hold it and counterbalance it by not being too aggressive. So we've got 6.1. for a second. Six point one uphill. I don't really want to be any firmer than that, but we are aiming sort of into this. I'm still gonna hit it probably six point five, no more than that. Which means it probably won't reach That's such a difficult part. I'm more worried about the second, the next part than I am this one, if I'm honest. But here we go. Um, I'm gonna hit it back there and just pray we hold it. Right, we haven't. I mean, <laughs> you can just see what the uh, what the issue there is. I think we might just get away with it. I've seen those roll all the way to the bottom of the hill. Um, very tough part. The reason it came up so short was because I was aiming so far up the hill to start with, so it lost its momentum. I didn't really want to hit it any harder than that because then it's going to come further down the hill, so uh, it's not great. What we wanted to do was hit the ding in the first place and end up down here and have an easy birdie putt. Now we're still not in for, in for par. But it's another good putt to learn from. It looks pretty straight. I'll be hitting this quite firm because I'm sort of even that firm 4.82 uphill six. Yeah, I, that wasn't really firm. I could have hit it firmer than that. I should have done the calculation on the screen. 
Uh, last hole for now, I might do a couple of putts on this green and try and miss them intentionally. This one's another very tough green. Anything above the hole tends to roll, the putts are rolling a lot more than the sheet, the, the formula would say. Um, so it's one another one you have to be a bit careful with. Always good to memory log these um, difficult greens, difficult pin positions. Allow a couple of yards for elevation. One, two, one. Six, one, sorry. Flat wind. You hit this sort of one six seven. And wherever it ends up will be a decent place to have a, a good example. Very nice shot. Putt with. Um, so now we've got a straight uphill up. I'm going to hit two putts here. I'm going to try and hold the first one. And then if we miss, I'm going to put it up the green. 17 plus 320 times 0 0.69, 13.8. 13 13.8 base. I'm not worrying about tailwind up the hill. I would be if it was downhill. Um, so I'm taking that out of the consideration. What I am putting back into consideration is I want this to reach the hole and it's gonna be trying to turn all the way around here. I'd rather miss this high than a wood low. Uh, it sounds silly, but um, that's kind of what's it always in my brain. So 13.8, I believe. Um, I'm going to be looking at hitting this more like, not far off 15. If it goes 2.5 past, I'm really not worried. Let's try and study the break a bit here. I still think that's not enough. So anyway, let's just go for it. We're going 15 rather than 13.8. Terrible miss to the, with the ding, and pretty much cost cost the, the whole um, the whole out. Um, but the pace was good, a good foot foot and a half pass probably if I dinged it. Um, I'm just going to have one more putt. Now this green is just evil from back to front, from from left to right. So this is going to be a real challenge, but we'll give it our best shot, and this will be the last putt for this sesh. Um, so we've got 24 minus 5 is 19, so we've got 19 uh, times by 0 0.69, 13.11. And these are putts that we just need to be pragmatic about. I'm not going to hold very many of them. You're going to three putt this more than you're going to hold it all day. And our job here is to make sure we don't and try and give it a bit of a chance as well. So 13.11, lots of break. It's going to be going a lot quicker at the end than you think it is. I'm probably over breaking this. Making a mess of this. So we're on to our pace. We're talking about 13.1. Not worried about the wind again. I'm worried about this is all more downhill. So I'm going to hit this 12 just over 12 and I still think there's a strong chance it's 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 long I've forgotten where 12 is didn't want to be missing that right really well would you believe it so um, obviously a lucky putt 
Uh, but the pace wasn't far off there. It was starting to slow down. It had probably gone about three or four feet past. Um, but hopefully, I think that's a good example of where I've done something quite significantly wrong with the ding, but reading those kind of putts is very difficult. The simple fact is that if you've got the right pace 90% of the time, you're going to hold a lot more putts. If I'd got the pace wrong on that, then obviously it doesn't go in. Um, and the same if I'd aimed right and dinged it, it wouldn't have gone in with the wrong pace. So it pace is a box ticked. If you don't have that box ticked, the putts that go in are generally going to be more luck than, than judgment. So that's enough for now. Um, I hope it's been useful. Um, again, we're not experts here. I'm no, I'm no fantastic putter. I'm hoping to get somebody on the channel that will... Um, that will be a lot better putter than I am um, and have a better understanding of breaks and dots and things like that. Um, but I just wanted to go through the pace to sort of start the conversation off. So be well, have a great um, day and any questions, feel free to post on, on Facebook or on YouTube and see you soon. Bye-bye.